Are you a slicer of the golf ball? Well, if you are, it could be down to your lead wrist position at the top being too cupped. In today's video, we're gonna show you a really simple way of getting that cup wrist to a flatter position, definitely gonna help you with your slice. So welcome back to the Forest of Arden. This, as always, is the par 5 17th. And this video is going to be absolutely fantastic for all of you chronic slicers, faders, high ball hitters out there who've maybe tried every single drill there is to try and fix it but you've not quite got there just yet. We're gonna talk about something called wrist angles, and we're gonna do something, your takeaway, which I really think is gonna help you uh, improve that ball flight. Now, if you're a slicer of the golf ball, you've probably got uh, a club face, which is a little bit weak or open. You've got a club path to the left. This little exercise is not going to address the club path. So we're not gonna hit draw shots, but what we might do is hit slight fades or even pull shots, which are definitely gonna be more functional for you on the golf course. So what do we know from the slices of the golf ball? Well, we know that generally at the top of the golf swing, they have this lead wrist extended or cupped, so there's a lot of shape in it. That tends to get the club face open. Now, a lot of golfers they may be aware of that. They've seen the kind of Dustin Johnsons, the Brooks Kepkers, and they know that they should get their wrist a little flatter at the top. But what they often find is that when they try and do that, they kind of struggle. They can't move it from this extended to this flatter position. So for me, if I get a golfer who really struggles to control the wrist angles, the earlier I can get them to control them, the better. Therefore, we're going to try something in the takeaway which is going to help. If I take my setup up to this golf ball, you will notice that at setup I have some extension in that lead wrist. It's cupped, which means I have to take that out in the backswing. That's not easy to do. But what I want you to try and feel is as you move the club away, you're going to keep the club head pointing towards the golf ball. So you can see how I've got that club pointing very much down towards the ground. Now what that's actually done, it's actually started to flex my lead wrist and my trail wrist has started to increase its bend. If I then just turn up to the top, you can see how my wrist angles are very, very different. So I was able to set my wrist angles very early in that goal swing. If I have my wrist extended at setup, which many of you will, that's absolutely fine, and you get to this halfway back position and it's still extended, I think you've made it a little bit hard of yourself from now, from here to the top, to try and flatten out that wrist. So here's what you're going to do. You're going to take your starting position and you're going to make your golf swing shape exactly as you would as normal. But we're going to feel that we twist the golf club very much down towards the ground. That's going to arch the lead wrist, it's going to bend the trail wrist, and it's going to get the club face and your wrist angles under control much earlier. This isn't one of those things that you're just going to go and try at the range if you didn't play well at the weekend. This has to be for those golfers who really struggle with an open club phase at the top, who know that is because their wrist is extended and they really struggle to control it. If that is you, this drill is well worth a try. I really think it's going to help you. And I'd love to hear in the comments, is this something you've tried? Have you tried to control your wrist angles this early in the golf thing? Or have you been thinking a little bit more about the top of the golf thing, which is often the case? So how would we hit shots? Well, I would get you to hit shots exactly as that drill. So we're going to go set up. We're gonna move that club away, club points down, wrist angles under control, and from there you turn up and hit it. And that was a nice little low six iron straight down the middle of this par five, probably leaving me a, a good driver and pitching wedge left in, so uh, not the best club off this tee. But what I really did there is we controlled the wrist angles early, made it a lot simpler for me to hold on to those. And I say, if you're a chronic slicer of the golf ball, this is definitely something you need to try in practice. I really think it's going to help you. Really hope that helps. Again, let me know in the comments box, is this something which helps you? Would love to get your feedback. And also, you know, let me know what kind of content you'd like me to do going forwards. Would love this channel to be a little bit more about you with your information, your feedback to me, then I can hopefully produce the content which is gonna help you play better on the golf course. Thank you very much for watching. Usual stuff is down below, comments box, like button, over here, my logo, click that, it'll allow you to be a free subscriber. I would love to have you along for the journey and we can help you play better golf. Thanks for watching, we'll see you again soon.